Hello there, this is me and my cousin playing 2v2 random. We had just gotten moved up into the, um, into Silver League. Entered Silver League at, like, position 29 or something. Since we're both Protoss and, or Zerg, we're both Zerg, and I continually fail at trying to play Zerg, um, we're just gonna, um, Eight cool rush them. What that means is um, you get up to eight guys gathering minerals until you get 200, in which case you get a spawning pool. Um, we are both doing this. My cousin is doing it slightly faster than I am because you know he got into um, Diamond League doing this in 1v1, and I just fail at Zerg. So. After your spawning pool goes down, you get a over another probe and an overlord. Ah, you get the overlord and the probe. They both pop at the exact same time as um, your spawning pool, allowing you to get three zerglings right off the bat. And then you get another zergling. So, another zergling going as you have six zerglings running off to your enemy's base. The six pool rush um i tested this six pool rush gets you your zerglings at the exact same time except for you have more people gathering resources so you can keep on sending reinforcements here they are trying to wall off but since it's one player walling off a large thing he couldn't get the wall off in time so zerglings running in and destroy stuff lots of stuff getting destroyed and my frame rate's dying no frame rate, no! So yes, there it goes. Lift off the bunker as it's on fire, so he's gonna lose. Run off over here instead of trying to, you know, completely wipe out the um, Terran player, put the damage on, put the hurt on to the Protoss player. Because we want to actually beat both of them, not one of them while the other one comes over and kills us. So here they are, trying to kill us with probes and SCVs, but two people building Zerglings, they'll win. So okay, he's kind of screwed, so I run down here to pick off this guy and make sure he doesn't have anything going, and they GG out. So I'm going to go back and watch what my cousin does slightly faster, slower, um, slightly slower. Okay, get the guys gathering um, minerals. Immediately get the zergling or the pro drone. Come on, I always call the probes drones. Okay, and get the second drone, and then you just wait. You just keep going, going, and then at 200, you get your spawning pool. And then you gather a bit more resources immediately at 100, or at 50. Aha, 50, you get a Zerg. Or a drone. Ah, this is my mistake. Two drones. Right off the bat, two drones, and then you get a uh, overlord. That was my mistake, and that's why I keep on doing this not as effectively as him. I would get one, one drone, then an overlord. Oh, yeah, three drones. Okay, so you can get up to 10 drones while getting the spawning pool. My cousin's laughing because we're playing random, so he scouts us out, and it's already too late. <laughs> oh, darn! They have two people um, rushing us. What are they going to have? <laughs> it's too late, little drone. Yes, yes it is. Oh, no, that's a pro. So... That's what it is. Um, you get up, you get up to eight um, drones gathering minerals. Then you get a spawning pool. Then you get two more drone, um, two more drones, an overlord, and another drone. And then you just spam um, zerglings, unless you know it's not working, in which case you need to transition out of it, which my cousin is pretty good at doing. I've 
only gotten it, gotten it to work this one time and in the next video. Okay, next video. Why, hi there, here's the next video of me with the Zerg, my cousin with the Zerg. We were both playing random, so the computer, or the enemies, do not know what we are. And we get dual Zerg, which is always fun. I still mess up the build in this one because I don't know what I'm doing. I think my cousin was distracted and uh, messed it up. Maybe not. He messed up a couple times when we were in this bout of gaming. I think we played for about an hour or two. Um, so, getting minerals. Getting the... I'm getting the... Um, Overlord, he's getting the Overlord, he has 10, I have 8. He gets his Zerglings out, I get my Zerglings out. I have much more minerals than he does because he's using his, I'm not, because I don't have the larva because I messed up on the not building drones. So that's really all it does is I ha I'm sitting on money while he has a better economy. They have a wall off here. So, okay, destroy the pylon and the cybernetic score. We don't want those. Little guy, Marine, popping away at us. We get in. Ha <laughs> ha. He's going to wall off again. He's going after the Marines. I'm going to keep them from keeping the wall off. Slow this down a bit. Move back a bit. Okay. Loading. Okay. So, oh darn, this pylon's half dead. Let's start another wall behind it. The marine popping away at us. Just get the pylon down. He's trying to wall it off, but our guys were in the way. So he goes in for the wall off. I see that he's going in for the wall off. Um, Jonathan is moving his guys after the um, SCVs. I am, or the marines, I am going after the pylon. They have a mass SCV rush, but only half of them are fighting, which is a mistake because he pulled everyone off, but they aren't all being useful. They are continually walling off. My cousin has thrown another drone into the mix. Um, we're hacking away at the probes. The Protoss player has pulled almost all of his produc production off, so as the Terran player. So they're just running out continually. This is the third or fourth pylon here that we have destroyed. But they have a guy on the other side with no health, so he's dead. They have nothing, so they're getting their resources. We are still sending little groups of um, Zerglings over. Want to pick away at these so that you know he can stop pumping out these annoying zealots, but just got it underpowered. Throw up another one. Go after my two little guys. Oh, look at that, more guys. And a lot more guys. And my cousin moves in with the last of his guys to keep it. This um, zealot would have been rather annoying. Trying to run down, get blocked off by our guys. Pegging away, and then they leave the game because we crushed them. Ah, so yes, two um, Zergling rushes, the eight pool, which means you get eight drones, then you get a spawning pool, then you get another drone, an uh, overlord, and two more drones, I think, in that order. And if you do it with the precision timing, your last overlord and drone will pop at the same time as your spawning pool, leaving you with three larvae for three zerglings and just 150 minerals. Um, going to go back and see if that is in case, in fact, the way it happens here. Here, I don't know how far in it is. As I, again, I don't know this. I can mess it up. Jumping, jumping. Okay. Dr drone, drone. And up here at a hundred minerals. Overlord. And then again at fifty minerals. 
another drone. Speed it up a bit. Okay. Um, Overlord and Spawning Pool popped at roughly the same time. It's not exactly. And my Zerglings went up just behind his, or if not at close to the same time. He has his waypoint set for way out here. I have my waypoint set for way out here. Because it's very immediate. First thing we do is throw out a bunch of Zerglings. And they get the complete wall off because they have now scouted that. Oh, there's a bunch of Zerglings coming after us. <laughs> wall offs. Okay. That's the um, eight pool rush and something that allowed me and my cousin to get up into the high um, silver league for 2v2. Very impressive, I know. It's still, you know, still noobs, but, you know, it's fun noobs and we're, you know, having fun and specifically we're annoying the crap out of people so he probably would have been screwed if he had gone for a stock but since he had to keep on rebuilding um, these things he never got the chance and he was continually um, supply blocked but yeah see here if he had gone stalker we probably would have been in trouble because one stalker behind the drone would have killed us pretty quickly. But by now he's he's screwed and needs to get out of probes, I think. Oh well. That's the video. You've seen this. I'm just laughing at. If he had gone stalker there, yes, he would have come out slightly slower, but he still would have there's my little guy still attacking this when I should have been focus, focus firing that down. And considering this is the um, zealot that could have done damage but never came out, it is a shame. And the stalker never would have made it. Oh well. Um, yes, that's the game. Littles are gleans. Bit of micromanagement away from the SCVs because enough SCVs are actually a threat to Zerglings without any power ups. So I, I know I don't don't have any because I didn't even get gas. I'm just oh well, here I'm making the Zerglings or controlling what's going on up here instead of pumping out as many Zerglings as possible. Oh well, that's the game I'm of. <laughs> my second and third Zerg victories. I hope you enjoyed them. I know I did.